CBS News national security correspondent David Martin has more from the Pentagon. David, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, so a senior yeah. official for the Biden administration tells CBS News that the U.S. will not participate in a reprisal attack on Iran. Um, this, I mean, I, I wonder after hearing Kirby and answering our, our colleague Weijia Zhang's question, um, what do you expect the U.S. would do in the case that Israel does uh, decide to respond? Well, you heard John Kirby take a very hands-off uh, position when it came to uh, the subject of Israeli retaliation. Um, that this is a decision that the Israelis are going to make on their own. And as uh, you mentioned, U.S. officials have already said that the U.S. is not going to participate. But listen, <clears throat> Israel has, hands down, the best air force in the Middle East. So it can do considerable damage uh, to Iran without any help from the U.S. Uh, Iran has air defenses, but Israel has f 35 stealth fighters, which uh, either should be able to uh, evade those uh, defenses or uh, fire weapons from outside the range of those defenses. If Israel decides to go deep into Iran, attack targets deep inside Iran, then it risks losing aircraft and losing pilots without any real chance of uh, being able to rescue them. So that is a that's a high-risk uh, proposition. If Israel decides on a tit-for-tat response to uh, the Saturday night attack, you would expect them to go after an Iranian military target associated with the Iranian missile forces. You can't go after each and every missile launcher, but perhaps you could go after a headquarters building or something like that. And you don't have to retaliate inside uh, Iran, you can uh, you can retaliate against an Iranian facility somewhere else. From your uh, perspective and with your experience and wisdom reporting on this, um, David, do you do you see this what what Israel is calling uh, a success and touting as a success, and as we heard, so is uh, Kirby, a miscalculation on the part of Iran, or do you consider that there is some space to assume that the outcome of it was? deliberate from Iran to, to show it's, you know, that it's responding, but hope to leave things there? I don't think uh, uh, Iran deserves credit for only having caused uh, minimal damage, unless you want to give them credit for having nearly half their uh, ballistic missiles uh, fail either on right. launch or in flight. Um, they were trying to do damage. They fired over 100 ballistic missiles. That is intent to harm. All right. Uh, David Martin, thank you so much.